Welcome to Neospace. What it do guys, Majima here and today we're going to be unboxing the Yugi's Collector's Box. And not to throw some shade upon some Yugi tubers, but I don't think this is a very good box. Let me put that shade away. So, just take a look at this, but let me just get some of this plastic off first. We don't need all this plastic. There's really only three items that you would get this for and competitively uh really nothing there's a couple of collector's items that you might want from this including the dark magician ultra rare that we've gotten in common in the yugi's structure deck and in the megatons this year as a super rare so getting this the maximum rarity that you know is probably going to be possible is going to be this so that's the reason you would get that some of the rarest cards in these duelist packs are actually worth anything most of them are garbage it's the most of this is just hot garbage i don't know people keep saying it's great it's awesome if you're nostalgic about Yu-Gi-Oh, then that's great but this is probably konami shilling at its finest or worst whatever your case may be so it says right here this is the perfect gift for the fans of Yu-Gi-Oh! that want to start playing like their favorite characters from the TV show. It comes with a complete, easy-to-learn and ready-to-play 50-card deck featuring many of Yu-Gi's famous cards, plus six duelist packs containing 30 additional famous cards to customize your deck however you want to play. Okay, most of these are garbage, by the way. You're better off, instead of getting this, getting the Yu-Gi structure deck and some of the... Uh, what was the pack called? Um... Ah, I, I did a whole unboxing of a whole box. Uh, the gold one, uh, Pharaoh's Rivals. That would be actually be a good one because there's some good cards in there. Each Yugi's collector box comes with a starter deck, Yugi Reloaded, which is mostly hard garbage, except for the one ultra rare Dark Magician. Three booster packs of Duelist Pack Yugi. Three booster packs of Duelist Pack Kaiba. One ultra rare variant of Dark Magician and an oversized card of the same variant of the dark magician so th this is mostly garbage so if whatever you've seen other youtubers say this okay the fact that that's red is kind of cool but that's it this is mostly trash so you might be wondering why'd you get it I i'm terrible for liking to unbox things so let's take a look at the card and yeah that's that's great the levels you know, that lights up, or sorry, not lights up, but telegraphic, the name's great. This is actually really cool, and I don't think it's worth getting the whole thing. You could just get these loose on eBay. And we have the, uh, what is this, Starter Deck Yugi Reloaded, which if you're, if you, for some reason, you actually wanted this, this is probably the best way to get it, because it's like 13 bucks, I think, retail, 13, 15 bucks retail, or even if it's 10 uh, you probably make up your price with the rest of it. So we have the starter deck, not structure deck. Starter decks suck. The uh, giant over-the-top card, which I could probably frame this and just put this on the wall, and this is just kind of generic. I mean, it's a cool card, I suppose, but uh, this is probably my preferred one because I'm not a huge fan of this artwork. I think it's cool, but not a huge fan. Three duels pack Yugi. And... Three duels pack Kaiba. I do commend them for not using that crazy adhesive they did for the uh, those uh, mega boxes. So let's take a look at. Uh, it's just English edition. It's not first edition or anything. So we aren't getting anything new. And I think these aren't reprints. This is probably just old stock. They probably just have a bunch of old stock, or they just decided to reprint it because why not? People are gonna buy it. And to prove that you no, know, this is like reprinted or at least not uh, updated anyway, is gonna be well. Let's see what rule book this is. Beginner's guide. Oh, this is not even a rule book. It's kind of a rule book. Does it include? What does it include? Attack, attacking, monster summoning, special summoning. Okay, there's really not much going on in there. But this is going to be the real determining factor of what's actually going on. So, oh wow, that's this is actually really old. And actually a little more current, uh, but not by choice. This is the 
first style of mat. Okay, so the second generation of mat, I would say, would be one that has pendulum zones. This one doesn't have pendulum zones, so you might be thinking maybe it's the newest version. It's not the newest version because it doesn't have the extra monster zones. So, this just cap happened to um, fall in a place where it could be mistaken for current because you just kind of have your card overlap at the top. So that, that just means it's old. We have the deck itself, which is going to be a pain to open, I think. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well, so I um, don't... Not entirely. Yeah, that, that worked out pretty well. So the reason you would get this at all is that really cool artwork for the Dark Magician. That's cool, but I'm sure you could get that separately. Um, we have a comment of that same Dark Magician art. Miskal Elves, Giant, Soldier of Stone, Summon Skull, he's good. Neo the Magic Swordsman, Gemini Elves. Gemini Elves is actually pretty good. Dark Blade, Karibo, Buster Blader, Four Star Ladybug of Doom, Dark Magician Girl, Skill White Magician, Skill White Magician, Skill Dark, Dark, Old Medictive Edition, Breaker of the Magical Warrior. Remember when this was actually like super good? Now it's just, I mean, he's cool, I guess. Double Costume, uh, Silent Swordsman Level 3, Level 5, Green Gadget, Red Gadget, Yellow Gadget. How many times have we gotten most of these cards? Electric Virus, that one's actually kind of cool. Magician's Valkyrie. Wish we'd at least had three. Or not three, but at least had two. That'd be cool. The Tricky. Dark Hole. That's good. Swords of Revealing Light. Kind of slow. Black Pendant. Eh, he's okay in certain decks. MST. Eh, better ones out there. Mage Power. Book of Moon's good. Thousand Knives. Dark Magic Attack. Magical Dimension. Ancient Rules is good. Uh, Magicians Unite. Soul Taker. Shard of Greed. Eh, it's interesting, but it could easily be destroyed. But that's kind of not super its fault. Well. Trap Hole, Wabaku, that's good. Mirror Force, I mean, that's good. There are other Mirror Forces that kind of supersede it, but it has a place in certain decks. Spellbinding Circle, Call of the Haunted, Magic Cylinder, Miracle Restoring, Zero Gravity, and Rising Energy. Most of these are either, like, reprints, or you can just get them in other places. So this doesn't hold anything specific that you can't get in other places other than that really cool artwork, Dark Magician. The only reason you want this honestly because the rest of the cards you could just get loose or otherwise so let's open up a pack of duelist pack yugi and if i can i'm going to put a picture of the artwork because i could have sworn this had different artwork the duelist pack yugi and like i was saying this pack has very little that's actually good or worth getting i think the only thing super worth getting is Anime artwork, polymerization, and uh, there's probably one more. So, Catapult Turtle, Light Force Sword, Black Illusion, or sorry, Black Luster Ritual, Stronghold, The Moving Fortress, and Marsh Malone. I mean, how many of these do we already have? And that, that's worthless. That, that whole pack was garbage. Same thing for Kaiba. He has a little more going on for him, I think, in this pack, but mostly hot garbage case in point judge man okay lord of d polymerization eh. lodge in the mystical genie of the lamp and vampire lord another pack of yugi stronghold the moving fortress swords of revealing light Light Force Sword. Ooh, polymerization. And exchange. <laughs> as much as I whine and complain, this is actually one of the few cards I super wanted to get from this. So I'm kind of kind of excited about that because I love that artwork for it. And you, I, this is one of the two places you can actually get it. So that was actually pretty cool. Let's open another Kaiba. Trying to leave this in a condition that I can keep it just because I do like collecting just the packs the packages and that opened up really easily and really nicely so lord of d cloning sword stalker white dragon ritual and kaiser seahorse so not really much there so you guys can see that there's not much going on here and this is definitely if you're competitive or want to be competitive do not get this this is just not worth it if it, you want nostalgic, I'll give you that. There's nostalgic here. Green Gadget, Catapult Turtle, Light Force Sword, Black Luster Ritual, and Magical Hats. 
And once again, the, <laughs> the one thing I was super hyped for, the polymerization, that's purely nostalgia. There's no like, oh man, I'm gonna, this is such a powerful card. It's polymerization. It's pretty run of the mill. White Dragon Ritual, Ancient Lamp, Ring of Defense. That's funny. I don't actually have that. Ooh, Fiend Sanctuary. You know what? That's super rare, and I have them in rares from the uh, Pharaoh's Rifles. Cost down. So we did get a super. You did get. We got two supers. That's not bad, considering the pack where it's not guaranteed at all. <laughs> and something I wanted to point out about the manual is that it says that Thousand Knives Dark Magic Attack require the real Dark Magician and you cannot use Girl or Skilled. I think that's something that everyone would know going into the game. It's like, well, it says that in the name, so that's kind of cool that they did that. And a weird thing about these not being Pendulum, this mat not being kind of Pendulum compatible with the, you know, the spaces, back from when this was printed, it did say... You can go to this URL to see the demonstration of how to Pendulum Summon. It's kind of weird that they didn't include the actual zones here. Because I know they wanted to stick it more traditional. And it is largely a garbage pack. I, I cannot stress that. I mean, maybe if you get uh, three of them. So you get three of these and then you get, uh, what, nine packs of each. You could probably, with more than 150 plus cards, maybe make a decent-ish 40 card deck, which isn't really saying much, especially if you could add any extra deck monsters that you want. But yeah, the the rares we pulled, the Fiend Sanctuary and the Poly, that's pretty good. I'm really happy about the Poly because I love that artwork. And here, it actually discusses a lot of what I kind of mentioned here you know hey get rivals of the pharaoh that's going to be really good and uh, dark illusion i didn't really mention that but there's some good exceed monsters in there for dark magician decks yugi um megaton from 2016 the structure deck yugi moto you get that and then some shilling for a card case movie pack which of course has some uh, support and legendary decks too so a lot of the kind of throwback shilling from the old stuff and I want to point out that this deck uses a lot of the Yugi stuff, but his ace card, these, his best card is just Dark Magician. It's not kind of any Exceed or Fusion in this. It's just that, that dude right there. Just him. That's the best thing. Once you can, If you can get over that, you can beat that, he's done. Well, guys, this has been my unboxing of the Yugi's Collector's Box. If you want to stay up to date on my videos and live streams on both YouTube and Twitch, check out the links in the description below. Join my Discord and consider donating. That's all for now, guys. Mandrame. Out. When a trap effect that inflicts damage is activated, make that effect damage zero. Huh. I always wonder how that was worded.